What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game called Epic Tavern, which I think is going to be pretty fun. We've got the snap crackling and popping of fires in the background and empty slots open and waiting to be filled. Hopefully I don't have you too husky at this point. Let's go ahead and check the game on out. What is our tavern's name gonna be? Oh, I don't know. We'll go ahead and we will call it, hmm, the Drank Shack. Oh no, not the Dr. Ank Shack, it's the Drank Shack. There we go, the Drank Shack. Let's open our tavern. How open is it though? Is it like a, do we open like at 9 a.m.? Because if you open at like 9 a.m., that's a bar of good repute right there. If you open at like five in the evening, that's one of those bars that's trying to uphold societal standards and I'm just not all about that. Oh, things are happening. We've got fanfare. Long ago, the land of beer was nearly annihilated by a horde of netherkin invading through the flaming gate. Villages were trampled to dust and beer burned. After a grueling war, the Netherkin were defeated and the Flaming Gate was sealed. For 1400 years, the seal held. There were no technological advances whatsoever. 1414. Ah. Hey guys. Hmm? How you doing? One last toast to the Ravenger 4! You know I hate that name, Merrick. You and Lycasia are the only Ravengers. That makes us sound like we're all... What did that pick it, place? People just started calling us that. Hmm. Is that how you remember it? You've spent the better part of a year trying to get that name to stick. Hmm. Bottoms up, kids. If Ignatius is to be believed, the Flaming Gate ain't gonna hold much longer. <laughs> With all your half-assed plans, this may be your worst. You got a better idea? <laughs> Can't say that I... Do, but that doesn't make yours any less awful. Take Thorgrin and ready the horses. Lycasia and I will be out momentarily. Hmm? You got the letter? Hmm? Right here. We're abandoning our child, Merrick. Hmm? We're doing what has to be done. Besides, we've survived worse than this. Okay, not really. But if you die first, I'll raise you as a banshee or some shit. Hmm? A banshee? At least make me look like a vampire. I think I'd look awesome with fangs. Deal. You ready, dear? No, but that's not at the change, so let's go. Alright, so for the first time in 1400 years, the Flaming Gate has been breached and a horde of netherkin are pouring into the realm. Fight your way to the Nethercap Mountains and use the artifact provided by Ignatius Mordred to seal the gate before the world is lost. Alright, let's go ahead and seal a gate then. Why not? Let's see here. Oh, it's very tentacly. Alright, so we have to, uh, we can put people in a party. I take recycling to a whole new level. Well, hold on. I, I don't want you to be. I guess I'll just go in order. Never mind. Everybody's level 10 and everybody's level... We can go forth, which has apparently a humorous little cartoon of us murdering a guy. We have an 80% chance of success. I'm going to round up because it makes me feel better. Thorgren has hammers and maces. It looks like they've all got skills and stuff like that. That's pretty sweet. All right. It's a 65 quest difficulty. Our power is 95 versus 65. Okay. Seems like it might work. Go for it. With one final look at their longtime haunt, the Ravager 4 step out into the streets where ske screams of terror echo all around. Doop a doop, doop, dip a doop. Lycasia scans the scene outside the tavern where packs of netherkin, their skin color of ash, wreak havoc in all directions. We'll help who we can on the way, but reaching the gate is our priority, she says. So long as that's open, battles out here mean nothing. Mount up. We ride for the nether caps. Dum 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 dum. I like how our little helmet has feet. Roars of battle echo from ahead, and the heroes spot a dozen elite Raven guards making a heroic defensive stand in an alley to buy time for a school's evacuation. Dead Netherkin are piled waist high at alley entranceways, and they continue rushing forward. Roll, roll for combat. Oh no! Party rolled a minus twenty-three versus an event sixty-five. We have minus five effort. Good lord. Apparently, Merrick was not the guy right there. God damn it, Merrick. This is what happens when you wear a tick hood underneath a wizard hat. The heroes charge into the fray, but the Raven Guard are overrun shortly after the final civilian is evacuated. The courage at the Battle of Ravenfall may be immortalized by the bards for all time. So are we dead now? Or like, oh, it looks like we're perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, with a wave of his hand as they ride through the carnage, Merrick, er, Merrick animates a half dozen dead netherkin as zombies and commands them to attack their brethren. 
You gotta teach me that trick one day, Blaze says. Okay. We don't have any music? Where did our music go? An elegant carriage lays on its side, its horses disemboweled. On the flip carriage stands a wand-bearing noblewoman with her young son clinging to her leg. The bloody mage launches waves of fire to fend off the netherkin, but is surrounded. No! Damn it, Merrick. Why are you so terrible? Why are you so... See, this guy is awful. We need to get rid of Merrick. Merrick is not doing it right now. Apparently, we got a wand of dancing flames and 53 GP. An elegant carriage. Let's see here. The carriage is overrun before the heroes can reach the Doom Mage. As Thorgrin smashes his hammer through another kid's head, he spots the young boy escaping down an alleyway. It's done, he shouts. Apparently, we're in our town where the Ard boys ride. You feel me? Uh, screams echo from all around us as the heroes ride through the carnage, aiding where they can. Gods protect us, Thorgrin mutters. How far away is this place that we're, like, trying to go right now? Is it, like, hella far? Oh, I think I saw Tentacle over here. I think I saw Tentacle. In the bell tower of a nearby church, a priest and four villagers make their final stand. Nether can scurry up the side of the building after them and others pour through the shattered front door. Ooh, we succeeded! Yay! In the bell tower, so Blaze springs from her horse onto the wall, climbing effortlessly and yanking Netherkin off to keep them from reaching the tower. Yeah, that'd, that'd keep me from reaching the tower, too. <laughs> Heroes rescue the villagers and Father Edgington, who offers them a blessing to help in the battles still ahead. <laughs> we got 107 GP, and we got some blessings, it looks like, but somebody was wounded for their poor performance. Just to keep coming, Blaze says, hacking through a tentacled netherkin in an overrun village. Eyes on the gate, Merrick commands. Yeah, we're almost there, man. You can see that I thought I saw a tentacle. Hold the line, soldiers. If you run, I will kill you myself, roars a young squire to her panic comrades. Their commanders lying dead on the ground around them as netherkin with featureless faces swarm from all sides. Lycasia raises her bow as heroes rush to reinforce the squires. Yay! Uh, so we did all right right there. The heroes rush in to reinforce the squires driving back the netherkin. Thorgrin heals the knights in training and their unofficial leader, Odessa Dauntless, leads her troops immediately forward towards the closest skirmish. The Ravenger 4 continue towards the Flaming Gate. Got $107, though. We got some money. Money's always good. Every second we spend out here fighting, more of those things are coming out of the gate. Keep moving. I guess we'll keep moving. We're almost there. Although I get the feeling something bad's gonna happen when we arrive. Outside the Tangled Vine Winery, a monstrously fat netherkin barks orders to its troops in a guttural alien tongue. They rush to attack the Vintner's house. Ooh, we succeeded again. Yay. Uh, kids in the attic, go! The Vintner yells, hurting her children up the stairs and taking a defensive stance with her pitchfork to guard it. The heroes come through the door just in time, saving the appreciative winemaker and her children. Coo. So we got 107 GP right there. The blessings appear to be helping a little bit, I think. Like, it looks like we're getting pluses and stuff now because of the blessings. I can't really tell what's going on because this is an early access version of the game, but it seems like we're rolling dice and doing something. I don't know. They're still pouring out of the tunnels, Blaze says, looking at the entrance to the Nethercap cave system from a rocky overhang, but I know another way. Watch your step. It's kind of tricky. Apparently, we're working our way up right now. Yay. You cannot be serious, Thorin says, looking at a narrow ledge with an 80-foot drop to the rocks below. Blaze chuckles. Trust me, when have I ever steered you wrong? That was rhetorical, she says, raising a finger to ward off the dwarf's long string of examples. Ooh, we failed. Blaze casually skips across the ledge, followed by Merrick and Lycasia. Thorgrin gulps nervously and starts across. His protruding belly makes it impossible to stay flush against the wall, and he loses his balance. Only Lycasia's lightning reflexes save him before he topples into a ravine. Are we there yet? I'm that guy. Outside the back entrance to the Nethercap cave system, Merrick addresses the companions. You've done enough by getting me here. If you want to leave now, I won't hold it against you. Blaze chuckles and let you get all the glory? Sorry, old man. We're in this together. The Ravager 4 step through the cave entrance and immediately spot a guardian, a nightmarish spider-like netherkin scuttling towards them on eight human arms. The heroes ready their weapons and fan out around it. Ah, we're such failures! The spiderkin leaps at Blaze with incredible agility for a creature its size. The assassin tries to roll under it, but is blasted with heavy webbing. The heroes rain down blows on the erected monstrosity, but it bites Blaze's head clean in half before succumbing to its wounds. Uh. I don't think... Blaze gained death. Holy shit. Lycasia, Merrick, and Thorgrin flee from a large pack of mutant wolves moving deeper into the tunnels. A long straight passageway opens up into a large chamber straight ahead. They make a run for it. Ooh, we succeeded. Yay. Isn't Blaze dead? Why is she still rolling? I thought Blaze got her head bit off. 
Still reeling over the loss of Blaze, Thurgren stumbles into a pit trap. Here, Merrick yells, and they turn to confront their pursuers. The trap does most of the hard work, and the three heroes mop up the rest. A gargantuan two-headed netherkin stands to guard an ancient arched doorway at the far side of the chamber. A bright blue light flickers the passage walls behind him. The flame gate lies beyond, Thorgren says with steely determination. Thorgren mutters a quiet prayer, and his hammer takes on a faint blue glow. Get it down while I can reach it, he roars, and Lycasia opens fire on the legs. The wounded giant stumbles to its knees, and he leaps forward, smashing one head, then the other. Merrick puts a hand on her shoulder. She snaps, if you try to give me some big speech about why you need to do this alone, I will murder you myself. Merrick chuckles softly, and they embrace before turning towards the archway. Beyond the archway, the adventurers see an enormous gate rippling with nether energy. Before it stands, the form of a young girl bathed in crackling blue flames. Lycasia laces up the enruined boots they receive from the artifact collector Ignatius Mordred. I hope these things work. Impressive, the young girl speaks directly into their minds while idly playing with a ball of crackling blue energy. Join me and I'll let you live. Lycasia shakes her head and taps the heels of her boots together, emitting a low hum. Appreciate the invite, kid, but we got something else in mind. Ooh, just barely on that one. You think your puny weapons can harm Alicia, overlord of the nether, the child shrieks? Lycasia shrugs. Guess we'll never know, because it's not the plan. She stomps one of her boots of quaking to the ground, starting a massive earthquake that brings the mountain down on top of them. Well, I suppose that's the quest. And so, the Ravager 4 called the mountain down upon Alicia and her netherkin horde, ending the battle of the mountain fall and once again sealing the flaming gate. Lycasia and Merrick Ravenger, Thorgrin Bloodborne and Blaze Evershadow. May the bards sing of their heroism unto eternity. So, everybody's dead. Nothing like a successful quest. <laughs> oh, rocks fall, the party dies. 1424. And... A new tavern opens its doors today. Apparently, that's worthy of note globally in the histories. This is the story of the Drank Shack. Hell yeah, it's the story of Drank Shack. Drank Shack don't give a damn. So taverns gained a level. We got two roster spots. Uh, expand and improve your rundown tavern. Your parents left you. Protect the realms of beer by cultivating great heroes. Okay. So somebody has a quest for us. Uh, successfully guided a group of adventurers to victory. Okay. What's this guy got going on? I know of a problem at needs solving. Might as well get in a bit of target practice before it now on more dangerous quests. Kill the rats in the old-fashioned way with an excessive display of violence. Okay. I confirm this quest. So there it is. Apparently now that we have a quest, we gotta find a heroic looking fellow and get to know him. In the tenderest and most sexy of senses. My shoulder keeps clicking. That can't be good. So uh, I welcome him. Drank Shack? What kind of a name is the Drank Shack? I guess I shouldn't talk. My folks made me Grunson. <laughs> He's a wolf spawn. Okay. What are his details? I can hire him for 2 AP. I've got 48 AP right now, so I will hire you. Hooray! He's a barbarian, apparently. Death comes for us all. My book to die. He seems a little bit of a downer, but alright. I'm not gonna cry about it. This hero... One's a hero, but two's a party. Why am I not blind drunk yet? Morgul. Morgul's me name. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I suppose that we will hire you then. Welcome. You're a fire mage. Okay, somebody likes to set shit on fire. Sounds good to me. Uh, can I pan around this place or is there like anything else I can do? So we've got equipment, equip adventures and sell unwanted gear, expansions. We've got our reputation on that side, our tavern summary, and then we've got stock and lodging. I will say farewell to you. Does that do anything? I could look at traits. Aggressive. What does aggressive do? Hmm. They've got a story. Best damn fire mage in all the room, probably. Nothing like confidence to keep you moving. So we've got a quest to smack some rats. Let's add them to the quest. So there it is. We've got Grunson and Morgul. Let's go forth. It's almost as good as going third. Almost. So we're gonna clear out some rats from the cellar. Kind of exciting to engage in something so stereotypical, Grunson says, rubbing his hands together. An angry chittering greets the intruders as a pack of rats rush to attack. Slay them! No! No one saw that, right? Says Grunson as he retreats from the snarling horde of rats. Home at last, Grunson sighs. I didn't expect to die, but I'm still relieved I didn't. 
So we failed. That's embarrassing. The rats are too great a challenge. We will lick those wounds and we will try again. It looks like we've got a little bit of cash that they earned. And then as far as XP goes, they're in the negatives. So that's never really a good sign. Apparently I can decide how much they get versus how much I get. You guys failed the quest, so you ain't getting shit. I'm taking, I'm taking the vast majority here because you guys messed up. That's how this works. Let's go back to the tavern. Alright, so we got 40 bucks for that. They're probably a little bit salty about that whole thing. A couple more adventurers look like they've come in. It looks like we've also got reputation with these cats. So let's maybe... So are these guys... What's up with these guys? Or could use a top off? Top up? Whichever. Whichever one gets this glass full. Welcome. You have a menu or something? How does this place work? Oh yeah. I'm Cranston. Nice to meet you. Anything else? Could I get some glasses of wine? Sure, I'll give you a glass of wine. Wow, this stuff blows me away. I'll have to order this all the time. Alright, and so what does this guy have going on? Oh, it's you again. Welcome to the tavern. Feel free to make use of me any way that you've like, if you've an adventuring kind of way, I mean, unless, uh... So the roster is full. How do I get my roster up bigger? Because I've got these two turds right here, and they kind of suck. So maybe... Can I fire them for sucking? Is that a possibility? Like, what if I want to hire an I want to hire a new person that doesn't suck? He's an acrobat. Okay. What if I What if I Oh, there's a dismiss button right there. I think that works. I'm gonna keep grunting, but I'm not quite so sure about Morgul. Orc customs and interrogations. Okay. I'm going to. Is there any way for me to make this place bigger so that I can have more people? So we can get a kitchen. Stock up at XX kinds of food. Okay. And it unlocks a quest with a name. Ooh. As far as our decor goes, we've got a bunch of random stuff in there. And we can't repair anything just yet. As far as equipment goes, we've got a wand of dancing flames on them. And then I'm going to say done. And then on Grunson, I suppose I can give that to one of them. If I go to Morgul, I can equip you with a Wand of Dancing Flames, and that gives you plus two burning hands. Okay. That was the one I think we got from the mage after we did that quest last time. I suppose I will uh, feel free to make use of me any way you want. All right, say goodbye. What do you guys have going on? Just passing through, and I thought I'd have a look. I'm Tashew, and if there's a story behind the name Drank Shack, I'd love to hear it. You want anything else? Stale bread. You asked specifically for bread that is stale? All right. No complaints from me. There you go. I like it. I'll have to have a little more to see what I really think, though. And then we've got an individual over on this side. I was getting kind of tired of sitting at home having nothing to do. I once dreamed that I burned down a tavern that looked just like this one. Kind of weird, but anyways. Hey, I'm Carly. Uh, she wants a mead, and so apparently I've got 20 in stock. So we'll go ahead and do that. What does that mean? i got like a plus one thing right there. I think that's probably... XP that we've gotten. It's really, really good. I can't believe how good this is. Well, start believing it. I'm never playing cards again. Too much risk. If you could have anything and you pick Drank Shack to name your tavern, all right. Want some stale bread? Well, there you go. There's your stale bread. What does this individual want? I would like a bowl of porridge. I have 13 of them, so here you go. Have some porridge. I could use a top up. Okay. Uh, this person wants to be hired, but we're full up, and it looks like she uses bows and crossbows and all that kind of stuff. I was thinking about the other day. No, they weren't giant rats, just regular old rats. Still whooped us, though. Uh, we can give them a quick chat, I guess, and a house wine. I don't know if this levels them up and makes them better, but it seems like the meter's filling, and that's probably a good thing. Right? Some of the adventures I've been on have changed the way I think. They weren't giant rats. They were regular old rats. Still whooped us. Well, let's reminisce memories, am I right? I grew up in the Badlands, and I'm happy I'm gone from there. I was looking for a place to get a room for the night. Okay, yeah, I can give you a room for 8G. Perfect, that'll do. So apparently we've got to... It looks like a bunch of people want rooms. Any vacancies? Yeah, go for it. Let's go ahead and get... Hmm, I guess I won't be staying here tonight. Oh, she didn't like it. So I can offer you a room for that. I wonder what the quality of your accommodations is going to be. Alright, this person wants some more food, so there's your stale bread. How do I resupply my tavern? So with room and board, it looks like I can buy a barrel of house wine. 
Okay, so I can buy all kinds of stuff in here, but that's gonna cost me some money. However, with the house wine, it was like 10 per, so you get 30 glasses, so you make like 60 gold. You just gotta be sure that you sell it all. As far as food goes, it looks like we can get a vat of porridge. Okay. We've got some stuff in here, and then we've got vacancies going on. As far as other things that are going in here, wow, there's a lot of menus. Like, I'm intrigued by this game. I'm intrigued, though. I like the idea that this game is playing at. I can feel it in there. I can feel it in there. So we've only got two AP left. How do I organize my last call? We've got a quest over here to stomp some rats. Chance of success on here is probably not super great. If I take a look at the map, though, I bet they're... It's possible that they can take this quest. Let's send them out on it and see what happens. Wow, we failed with an 88%, man. You guys are really messing this up. That's a couple times in a row. We failed with 80% chance of success twice in a row. Let that sink in. Uh, give them all the money for right now just to keep them happy. I don't know if, like... So it's the next day now, apparently. So I guess your AP resets whenever you send somebody on a quest. Uh, she's got... I apologize in advance for the amount of drunk I'm about to get. That guy looks badass. I want him. I always dreamed of having a tavern, but I'll settle for renting one of your bar stools for the evening. Name's Degorum. One of the adventurers I've been on have changed the way I think. I know a guy who used to say, you never forget your kills. I can tell you that that's the voice of inexperience. Let's reminisce. You got a second? Oh, we got a guild roster slot. Hell yeah. I'm probably going to hire this guy. Before you get any ideas, all hits have to go through the guild. We can't have people running around committing murder all willy-nilly. You want to join me? Yay! We've got a level one assassin. Nice. I like assassins. Let's go ahead and feed people. So you get some porridge. Uh, you get a porridge, I guess. Uh, we've only got two porridges left, so I should probably go and order some more right there. So as far as food goes, let me buy 20 bowls of porridge. They appear to be popular. What are you trying to get right now? Porridge. Everybody wants porridge. Porridge, 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 porridge everywhere. Uh, so she's at her storyline. They weren't giant rats, just regular old rats, and they still whooped us. Up for some conversation? Sure. Despite what the nosy do-gooder Catrice would have you believe, I'm perfectly respectable by mage standards. Looks like the party's already started. I've got a bit of catching up to do. Are you trying to get a drink? What's on the menu? Um, I can give you house wine. Raise your mugs to those we lost along the way. Huzzah. Anything else? I think she's good. What do you want? Some of the adventures I've been on have changed the way I think. Let's reminisce. I want you to hit 20 and we'll get personal story out of here. I've always been skilled at being an outdoorsman. There's nothing quite like the thrill of the hunt. You got any vacancies? Yeah, I got vacancies. There you go. Give you a little bit right there. So what can I do? Do I have any new expansions now that I've hit level 2? We can go with the kitchen. That's at level 1 and gives us a quest with no name. And it doesn't unlock yet, so I assume that's going to be later on. Let's go back to our quest roster and see if we can get something done here. So we've got Stomp. Let's go build a party. So you guys, I don't really know. So if I take Grunson, that's 74. And if I take him, that's 95. They both got the trapping quality. So I assume that has something going for it because that does. Can I take all these people? Yeah, she makes it worse, it looks like. It looks like she actually makes the situation worse. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's just it's a warrior quest. So I might as well get in. Let me take a look at this over here and see if there's anything interesting. I'm thinking that, that maybe this is what they're going after. We need nine combat. We need, like, 18 brains, we need 11 trapping, and we need two of that right there, whatever that is. And so I'm assuming that's why it goes down when she jumps in, because it doesn't really bring anything to the table. It goes down to 76 whenever I put her in, but we're losing power. It's interesting, and I'm not really sure what to think about that, but I'm going to stick with the 95, I guess. There we go. Our heroes are able to defeat a small pack of rodents in battle, which is literally the least that could be expected of them. So there it is. They managed to get some effort in there, and we're all good and done. So, as they complete that, efforts are 22. We got victory right there. Uh, we can divvy up some gold, and so it's 219 gold. I'm going to give them the lion's share. 
because I think it probably gives us reputation when we do that. We'll take a 25% split. I think that's fair as a brokerage fee. 25%, I mean, normally somebody that lines up your job takes 10%. 25% seems pretty gratuitous to me, but that sounds fine. I, what do I know? I only was in the music industry for a while. You know, anything higher than 15%, I'm like, what are you trying to pull right now? Even 15, like, I gotta like you for 15, and you gotta be generating a lot of revenue to get 15. Grunson, I would like a glass of house wine. Well, a house wine it is. Let's hear your story, Cranston. Sometimes life gets predictable and dull, and that's where I come in. I hear your wine is nearly palatable, and that's plenty good enough for me. All right, I'm going to keep that on the low low. This guy wants a soda water. We have that, so there it is. I can't hire anybody for right now, so I'm not going to. But there's your house wine, so we can earn a little bit of cash. This lady's got a job. What do you got going on? So, come back with my wine. The house wine is running a bit low. Feldspar Square is an infamous and rockably cheap wine shop, probably because no one can ever find it. Shop springs up out of nowhere every day and so never in the same spot. Luckily, a patron thinks he knows where it'll be today. Okay. And another round, if you please. Welcome to the tavern. Uh, Amram, and whatever you've heard about me, know that they started it every single time. He's a merchant. Uh, can I get goods food? What kind of food does he want? Chicken wings, maybe? I'll order some chicken wings. We got some money in here, so I've bought, apparently, a bag of chicken wings, I guess. I have zero plates of stale bread, too, so I'll probably get 25 of those. We'll get a little bit more porridge, so there it is. Spent a little bit of cash, but we're trying to keep people happy for right now. This individual wants some stale bread. Done. There's your stale bread. They want lodging. Uh, what's the quality? Probably not that great, man. It's a medieval tavern. I don't know. Uh, let's reminisce and talk. I wanted to talk to you about something. This place is great and all, but I prefer the open road to the confines of a building. Uh, he wants to stay in town. You wanted to talk again, too. Tynus, a doom sharper who's a level... Oh, a scout. Cool. I have more spare time than I have spare money. Let's fix that. Uh, maybe later. Unfortunately, I can't really do much for you right now. What's up with you? Morgul wants a quick chat. We've got AP. Let's go ahead. I have something to say. Catrice has some nerve accusing me of setting fire to the city to help another wizard escape jail. How dare she? Seems like you're always working. You should hire some help and maybe take a night off once in a while. Nah, that ain't what we're about. We hustle around here. Shoulder keeps clicking. Can't be good. Time I made some changes in my life. Met some new people and saw some new places. Killed some new things. Ooh, she's pretty good though. Uh, let's get rid of Morgul. She's got combat and trapping, and I feel good about... Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just wait for the... Maybe I'll just wait for things to go on up. I don't know. Either way, we have a quest in front of us, so... Could I get some glass? There we go. There's a glass of wine. They want a drink. House wine. Man, house wine is by far the most popular. That's where we're getting most of our revenues from. Go ahead and fill the rooms up right there. And welcome to the tavern. That guy looks like a badass. He is a shaman. A dwarvish shaman, so he's one of them expansion characters. Alright, what's going on with this quest over here? We've got a... Perception and tracking is what we want. Okay. Perception and tracking. So we've got... What's he got going on? So that's perception. That gives us an 88. And that's going to drop us to a... That's going to drop us back down, unfortunately. I'll stick with an 88 for right now. Let's see if they can find this wine cellar. I have a strange feeling of dread, Dugorum says. I haven't felt this since the day my last adventuring party all died. It's probably nothing, though. Bum, 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 The adventurers march with serious intent, eyes on the goal in front of them. Bum, 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 bum. Dugorum notices the buildings are growing. What the? He says he puts down a mug of street vendor mystery ale. On second thought, he's shrinking. Yay, we are successful. He has the presence of mind to ask about something that would help him grow. He somehow finds a growing potion and purchases it. Degorum is still restored to full size, although he's convinced his feet are now permanently larger. Can anyone say psychological side effects? I can say it. I mean, it's got a lot of syllables, but I try hard. The party stops in Milston to pull out Degorum's map. The patron marked a few potential locations where Feldspar Square may be setting up shop today. This will take advantage of my clever exploration skills, says Degorum. There it is. Degorum points to the mark near Gorn Flesh Cleaver's butcher shop. Sure enough, the square has appeared at the end of the street. They head in to pick up the wine shipment. Yay! We've got a wine shipment. A shipment of wines. 
Let's go jump in here. We got the time. Uh, portal abruptly opens in front of the heroes and begins shifting in and out of the party's sensory range and begins to assault the heroes' minds with unthinkable paradoxes. We're successful, though. Ever the quick study, Degorum absorbs enough of the in being's language to debate its noble postulations, albeit in rudimentary manner. Surprised and apparently impressed, the entity withdraws to its own dimension. Yay. Don't be trying to hog more than your take of the treasure this time, Assassin grunts and says. Degorum looks offended, snapping back, you got your share, it's not my fault you, or it's not my fault you spent it all last night. So there it is, an epic moment. Uh, we succeeded at the quest, hooray for us. We got 100 XP, 25 rep, an oversized gavel, and 100 gold. Cool. Um, we've divvied up the gold from the entire quest, which apparently you don't get till the end. Uh, let's keep this one, I don't know. We'll go right there. That sounds alright to me. I don't know what the point is of divvying. Like, we don't have any meters or anything that appear to be filling. Oh, and you can also change the amount that different people are given for different things, too. Okay. There it is. Continue to the tavern. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This game, as you just saw, is called Epic Tavern. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Take care, and I think I'll probably do another episode just to see what the game has going on, but that is for another day. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day. If you like what I do, check out my stream, twitch.tv slash splattercatgaming, where I play indie games every single day from 3 o'clock on, and I will see you all later. Hi to everybody, and bye-bye.